What's up everybody? This is Air Creed Harry and today's going to be part one of a series of how to make air creep videos. So in this video today will be a standard air creep mix with no additives. But the first thing I want to show you is the type of foam consistency you want to see when you're making foam to add into your air creep, uh, to add into your cement slurry. As well as we're going to be weighing the foam and you'll see the difference between the types of foam and the type of weight you want to have in your foam. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is your foam generator. So this is my Air Creed Harry foam generator. It's uh, on Amazon. You can click on the description below and um, go to Air Creed Tools where you can purchase one, one for yourself. So for this test we're going to be adjusting the uh, air valve here that controls how much air flows through the system. So to show you a bad mix I'm going to put the air flow on very low so that you can see how your foam comes out. Okay so I have the air flow on very low. I'm stepping on the foot pedal and if you're getting this, it's um, clearly not enough air on the system. So that is way too loose. Okay, that's water, that's liquid. So we're going to raise the air pressure. Probably even hear it, it got louder. So now we're getting a foam. This is a, a pretty good heavy foam. That's pretty good. I'm actually going to weigh that up and see how much that weighs. Okay. Swing over to the scale here. I'm just make sure we zeroed out. Okay. This is three pound density foam. Uh, I say three pound density because it's, it's three pounds to a five gallon bucket. So if you have, oop, just pulled it. Focus. So you can see here. I'm pulling on it. It went back up. It's 2.9. That's actually the perfect consistency foam you want. So let's make another batch and I'm going to add a little more air to it. See how sticky it is now? Like this is a really good consistency also. But it may be a little too light if you're making foam to build something structural. Okay, let's swing over. Yeah, that's 2.1 pounds. So, and if you look at the valve here on my machine, it's, um, it's actually set to here. So this was a two pound, two pounds of foam to a five gallon bucket. 
before I was here, more of a closed position, and I got a three pounds of foam to a five gallon bucket. So that's actually where you want to be um, in that range. Again, your compressor may be different than mine, so uh, you're going to have to check uh, and see where it is on your valve, what position you need to be in. Uh, but weighing it is how you find that out. So we're going to go with the three pound for, for a five gallon bucket uh, consistency. So next we're going to make some air creep. 